Hey guys, welcome to TCR. Sid here. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Mike. Oh yeah. I'm so used to <laughs> Hold on, let me do that again. Hey guys, welcome to TCR. Sid here. Mike. Thanks for clicking on the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today, we're gonna talk to you guys about our big plans for this place right here behind us. And back there. And back there. And, and over, over there. there. And basically everywhere, everywhere back, back there. there. Here, there, 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 everywhere. There, Here, there, 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 everywhere, <laughs> over there. All right, cool. Let's walk back here and take a look at this kind of back corner area that we just haven't done much with yet. Well, we've used it for roosters. We've used it, we put a pig back there once. We, we did, that's right, we had a pig back I've there. I've separated once. birds and animals back here when I needed to. But check this out, from right here where we're at, kind of give them a shot of what that looks like. From the... So kind of messy, right? So what's going on back here is, you know, we've got a bunch of stuff that, you know, this was all here. This was built kind of this way when we bought the place. We've used it for like where we're standing right now is where we process the birds. And really it's a great spot to process the birds. I think we want to continue to use this spot, but I left that hose on stripping, um, water wasting, but we want to make it, you know, you know, one more attractive. Not that that's the most important thing. Obviously functionality is the most important thing, but we would like it to be functional and feng shui. There you go. Right behind us here. We have this chain link area that, you know, I built this uh, this makeshift top over. This was all supposed to be temporary. This was so that we could keep some animals back here. So this area back here is actually behind our pool area, right? And I have power back here. We ran power back here when we did the project of power. So we have the ability to actually make this kind of the, the rear wall of the pool area. Uh, which might be hard to picture, but you know that concrete deck that we have over there We could extend that whole deck area back all the way to right here build the rear wall Here we have where we have power and we have water right there So we could build a really nice like pool pergola area with a TV in it and a refrigerator a sound system, the and a sound thing. system and really beautify the pool area and utilize this space right here um, and, and use up those paver stones. Right, uh, we had talked about potentially pouring a big concrete pad back here, but that could get expensive in a hurry. And when we redid the pool area, uh, we ended up with some extra pavers. So I said to Mike when we were talking about it, I was like, why don't we use the pavers and just pave it back here? So I think that might be the way to go since yeah, it's one less thing we have to then buy or find or get. Otherwise we're going to have two pallets probably of paver stones piled up on the back of the property for who knows how long. So that's kind of the, the loose game plan for this. We haven't really started designing it yet. I, I'd love to hear y'all's feedback. Uh, what you would do if you were going to build a kind of a pool pergola. Barbecue I don't even know what to area. call it. Yeah. yeah. But a little you know. outdoor kitchen type kind of deal. Yeah. Well, I want it to have a roof. We want it to be like the poolside living room because it's during the summer when it's a million degrees. That's that's where we hang that's out. Where we're, we want to be. We've been at the pool. Like we were hanging out at the pool this, this morning. morning yeah. And yeah. So and we're gonna hang out at the pool again here in a little while. You know, losing space where we had animals. Um, yeah, a little bit of a bummer. Uh, but if you think about it, you know, having the birds or the the pigs or whatever we had back here that close to the pool was kind of problematic. Um, and frankly, if I was going to use this pin for animals long term, <clears throat> I would, ooh, I just found the drill that I lost. Uh, I would really need to rebuild it. So I'm not. Uh, I'm just going to tear it down and make it pretty. Grab that drill before I lose it again. Yeah. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. This is why we can't have nice things because you put them in your kitchen. Now let's talk about the rest of this area back here behind us, right? Like all of this, what do you think, Sid? It's, so it's an odd little spot. We have a shed that's here that's basically like 
Mike's storage shed. I don't think there's anything of mine that's actually in that shed and it's packed to the gills. So <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in there. Um, but these kennels that were here, we've used for, if you've watched the, the barn cat video, we had the barn cats in here when we first got them to get them, you know, acclimated to our area. I have separated, you know, turkeys in here and all kinds of stuff when, when I've needed to. We, we throw the uh, Cornish in here before we butcher as like a holding gate for them. So we have used these quite a bit, but they're getting old, they're falling apart, and we want to kind of repurpose them. And we've been wanting to get into doing rabbits and quail. And so we think that this might actually be, if we convert this area, might actually be the perfect spot for it. You know, maybe removing these doors here uh, and you maybe utilizing uh, just the just the, the posts to completely rebuild this uh, remove the doors uh, put something uh, you know a prettier face on it and then access it from over here so tear all this down remove all this siding uh, put a nice pretty face on here and have doors that open into we could have honestly in just that one kennel right there how many rabbit hutches could we have right there from from all the way all back the way there, the back, yeah. yeah. From all the way back there, all the way up to here, we could probably have quite a few rabbit, probably as big a, a, a rabbit operation as we would want. Yeah. We could do in one of those, and then we could do the same thing on the third kennel on the other side. Access it from this side, and have uh, availability to do all quail in there, right? Leaving the one in the middle, maybe maybe leave the one in the middle with a door from the front, uh, put a prettier door on it and have that occasional when we need a holding pin right. uh, and then of course yeah i mean a lot of times i'll use the brooder in the off season as a holding pen like right now i've got two naughty drakes penned up in there but we're gonna eat them we're gonna eat them but um i just lost my train of thought what was i saying holding pen holding pen uh. oh. i'm sorry, sorry. i got no. my hand in the vicinity no, of the zip code I... of your face <laughs> you want me to take it from here? No, wait, I don't know what you're doing. Oh, well, that was not a yeah, see, eyelash. That was a hair that's that why went like I, this. That's why I figured, I was like, you're about to pull my hair out, aren't you? That's why. I wasn't going to grab a hold of it and yank. Well, I never know with you. Like a sadist. Really? Well, maybe. <laughs> it reminds me of our first date. Anyway. anyway. So yeah, keeping this middle pen as a holding pen in case I need to during, you know, hatching season when I've got the brooder in use for babies is going to be a nice thing to have. You never know when something's going to be injured or, or sick or just being a jerk that you got to stick them off by their own for a few days. So. And not only that, but I still want to continue to use this area as I spin around uh, that we've used many, many, many times now as the area where we process our chickens. Uh, even though we keep the chickens in the pasture way on the other side, uh, it's a good job for Frankie to move them over here on the day that we're gonna process. And if we're gonna continue to use this area to process, then having that holding pin right next to it so she can come out at you know six in the morning, move a dozen birds over there, and now we can just grab one and go when we're processing. So. You know, the other project, while well, we're back here in this back corner, literally very back corner of the property, um, that that uh, area, that wooded area is uh, Santa Maria Creek behind us. That's not ours. And as I turn over here, you see this chain link fence behind me with the cow pasture on the other side. That's not ours. So we're literally in the, you know, deep corner of the property. And we're, you know, we're, we're really utilizing this area back here. But we can utilize it even a little bit better and much better much better and have it look nicer it just yeah. doesn't look nice you know so we're going to come up with a game plan for a permanent uh bird processing area right here yeah uh, having it kind of a like a a shade cloth roll out mike's thinking about stringing up on some cables so we can pull it out when we need to use it and then roll it back up a little bit of a roof for some shade having everything out here having its own little home right will be very nice i think because as much as i love mike mike likes to put things in weird places for different 
periods of time and then he'll decide that it needs a new home and then so like this that's over here right now he decided he was going to clean out his storage i did shed. so i cleaned the but shed then, out but then it all sits here i'm so. gonna go look at the shed okay you go look so at the this shed. shed right here could honestly be the place where all this stuff for the bird processing is kept right so right now uh the camera's probably gonna get dark uh but right now i have a lot of my tools in here right so in here is just tools, 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 and all kinds of stuff, right? And, and, and lots of black widow spiders. And lots of black widow spiders. But then there's this whole other side of the shed over there that's actually quite large. That's probably 10 by 10 back in there. And there's just a bunch of stuff in there that I probably don't need anymore. A bunch of music equipment, a bunch of stuff that I can probably sell. And some of it just needs to be thrown out, baby. Some of it probably needs some to be thrown like out. Really old camping gear that has like seen better days. Right. So then I can take all of these tools over here and I can move them to the other side of the shed and I can open this entire side of the shed up to supporting like the a wasp's bird nest operation. or something right there. What is that? That's totally a wasp nest. Yeah, that's what that is right don't, there. You, it could be active. Well, you know. Well, don't like stick your. Mount St. Helens is active too. People go there. Yeah, every but you day. don't poke your finger in like. You don't know where I like, poke my it, finger. Oh lord. First of all. Second of all. Why well, we can't have nice things, Michael? Yeah, we have nice things. No. And then, oh, it gets even better. Back here, can you see this concrete pad? I'll go around. I'll go around all my mess. And. Yes, own that mess, boy. Yeah. Well. Okay. Whatever. So back here, uh, this additional storage area, you see this concrete pad and they even put, when they built this board, this pad, they put J-bolts in. So it's ready actually to throw some, uh, some bottom plates down and build a whole nother structure right here. And I have power back here. So in fact, not only do I have power, uh, infinite power. not quite infinite. Like I don't have, you know, like fusion going on back here. But what I do have is I pulled a second circuit. So when I pulled the power back here to all of these bad boys, all the way along the back of the property, I pulled a second circuit that goes all the way to this shed. So I have a dedicated 20 amp circuit at the shed that I can install an air conditioning unit and like a cool bot so that I could build a cold room back here. And that pad is probably six, Oh, yeah, six by ten. So that's a good size cold room. Yeah, right. I could fit you in there. Yeah. So let's get back to the idea of this pergola thingy, Bobby, that we want to build. I don't even know what to call it. Uh, well, they're called pergolas, baby. Yeah, but I don't. I think oftentimes a pergola doesn't have a, a, a complete roof on it. No, they can. Um, it just depends. So we have this bamboo siding kind of that we put up in front of the chain link. Uh, mainly just to block it because chain link's not pretty. I don't like it. That's why we've done all this fencing because it was all chain chain link. And I, I just feel like it's a bad prison movie whenever I see chain link. So I try to get rid of it as much as I can. So taking down this section and this chain link, the concrete pad stops right where that chain link fence is, basically where that where you see that bamboo. So the idea is then to. Uh, smooth out the ground there, even it out, put these same paver stones that are down here by the pool that we have left over stacked for days on the back side of that shed and put them out back here and then kind of start in the middle and work our way out and maybe have a little bit of concrete that we do on each side or something like that to even it out and then be able to go back that way to where we uh, have that pen once we get the paver stones down. I just want a little counter, a little counter, a sink, uh, the grill area, you know, basically like a little outdoor kitchen where you can have, you know, if we wanted to to deep fry a turkey, we could do it there. If we, you know, we've got the little fridge that we got that we could stick in that, you know, uh, have maybe like Mike mentioned, the TV, some speakers for Yo, I would love to music have, out here. Yeah, have our music that we have to blare from the house out here right and just really have you know a nice comfortable uh spot with a nice bar uh that people can sit at yeah. or we can place our food out on when we have a get together uh and of course you know it'll be a project that we'll film 
probably make multiple videos of it because I like to build everything myself. Well, yeah, and it'll take a while. It's not going to be, there's, you know, there's a couple other projects that we kind of are noodling around right now that we want to start on that are going to be a lot of time and a lot of money. Two right. things which are always in short supply. <laughs> right. And, so. and I think the, um, you know, the, the rabbits probably is the first thing, right? We want to probably try to get meat rabbits started here by spring, I'm thinking, or can we pull it together that fast? Well, I, fall. I can always pull it together. Oh yeah, I can tell her, okay, we're gonna start meat rabbits now, uh, whenever you're ready. I'll come home from work tomorrow and there will be rabbits here yeah. already Breathing. pregnant and, yeah. and ready to like <laughs> kit. Yeah. So uh, I have to be careful about giving her the green light on yeah. these types of things. Yeah, as soon as he says, in fact, we, I found that somebody was trying to rehome a, a German Shepherd that was like eight months. It's a pretty dog. It's a beautiful dog. Uh, was it eight months? It was. Look young. No, it was eight months. There was different pictures of it. No. And I te texted him the picture and this dog and I was like, babe, can we like, it would make a great YouTube video. And it was just a hard no. I just got a no, no, nothing. No, we'll discuss it. Nothing. It was just no. And I was like, dang it. Well, you know, if he knows if he gives me a maybe he comes home and there'll be a dog. Right, right. <laughs> no, I've learned you have to you if you say maybe let's think about it. Let's talk about it to her. That means, you know, I'll ask for forgiveness later. Yeah. So I've got to really, I've got to hard know it if it's a hard no. Yeah. And you know, the dogs, I, I don't want to get controversial. I don't want people to get mad and, and say that I'm wrong because I might be, uh, or, or, or you might be, doesn't matter. I'm not a fan of outdoor dogs. I like dogs to be able to come yeah. in the house, sleep in the house with us when yeah. they want to. You know, we have to bathe them regularly. That's part of her weekly I routine. Say, we? I've never seen but, you bathe a dog. <laughs> but um so you know so they have access to the outside and they spend a bunch of time outside but they also spend a bunch of time in the house yeah. we have two large dogs three's a crowd when you start talking about indoors well the one okay skylar's not that big she's like medium size Lundy's we have two large dogs <laughs> Leave us a comment, guys. Let us know what you think we should do. If you have any pointers, if you've built something like this yourself, if you've got experience with the rabbit hutches or the, the oh yeah, totally the quail uh, enclosure, you know. I mean, drop we're not dive, married to any of these ideas in their entirety, as far as the build goes. We have just this rough idea that we're really starting to flesh out, yeah. and I'd I'd love to hear feedback from you, especially if you've done this before. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So thanks for coming on our little tour with us. Don't forget to leave us some info on uh, what we should do. If you disagree with us or think we should just scrap the whole thing and burn the place down, let us know. No, I'm not gonna do that. No. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. What's wrong with me? I can't think when I get hot. I get all stupid. Like my brain starts to like sizzle. Mm. No comment. Stop it. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get the notifications. Oh. <laughs> That's what you get for sassing me. Ow, that's not fair. I did not hit you that hard. No, but, oh. <laughs>